with RPS, I'm manager for school culture and climate strategy. So my job is to develop, implement, and connect resources for trauma-informed practices and restorative practices in all of the schools. Yeah, I was retired. I retired from uh, RPS in 2014. Then I took a sabbatical, traveled, then I worked in DC, then I retired again. And then um, I was just doing community work. I was doing some work, uh, it was a social emotional learning program at Armstrong, using yoga, drumming, and peacemaking circles. And then I, I, um, I met the chief schools officer, Harry Hughes, and I met the superintendent, and some other people and the, on the leadership team. And I was working with them on trauma work and restorative justice. Then the position came up and, you know, we talked about it, um, shared visions, our visions, and how we could really support each other. And they offered me the position, it's perfect. For the most part, I think people want to resolve their conflicts in a, in a healthy way. Some people might not know how. Right now I'm focusing on Bouchard, Albert Hill, and MLK and we're gonna expand. It's kind of a community, like a public-private partnership, because it kind of came out of, the, out of the work that I did with Lewis Ginter, Botanical Gardens Urban Garden Program. Uh, with Deron Chavis, I was in the first cohort, and like one, our project was to create a garden at Six Mount Zion Baptist Church. So my proposal was to create a yoga garden with labyrinths, herb gardens, uh, yoga healing center, rain garden, meditation spaces. And then when I got the job, I started to see a connection between gardening and restorative justice. So I'm working on this idea called RUGS. It stands for Restorative Urban Garden Spaces because I think a lot of times when students are acting out, it's because they feel disconnected so the garden or the earth is a way to reconnect with self and to reconnect with something like that's larger, like an ecosystem or an energy system. So we actually put in the first restorative urban garden space at MLK. Food Justice Alliance did that. So what I want to do here, I have about a little more than an acre. You can see it's kind of a mixed space. We have flat area back here, we have flat area here, then we have sort of a hilly area in the front and, and right at the border of um, our property is a plot of land that the city owns and there's also a ravine. This corridor right here, like there's a, there's a beautiful reservoir. You can see it through the trees, Fallen Creek Reservoir. It just feels like this area is neglected when it could be kind of a showcase. It's right on the border of Chesterfield and Rich, South Richmond. And there's like a lot of dumping going on over there. So we need to connect with our city, city council person to really beautify this area. Another thing too is there's a lot of runoff into the creek that I'm sure goes into the, eventually into the bay. Mm -hmm. So we want to do some rain gardens. There's a lot of gun, gun violence in this area. So we feel like by creating a healing space, it can generate a positive force to kind of counterbalance some of that. One student who used to do some drumming with me, he was in this diversion program with the police department, got murdered like less than a mile. We want to do a, a rain garden in honor of him and other youth that are fall victim to gun violence. Um, Duran and I were talking about how the area in the front could almost be like a, a mini orchard. We can grow fruit trees and stuff down there. And then I wanted to have some decks too around the house where we can um, like when we engage the young people in gardening, we can prepare the food and have meals and stuff on the deck. It's exciting. It's a lot of work, but we must have over 30 people in the Urban Garden alumni who are always willing to lend support to projects. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's the work. So we use the um, motto, I am the work. It's kind of like I'm part of the solution. It's also like I am because we are, so I am the work, we are RPS. Um, my son came up with that 
slogan, you know, to kind of represent the struggles he's been through and how all of us are who we are based on our experiences. So we are a product of our work, the work that we put in. It's kind of tied into that, um, that, that African philosophy or mindset of Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. I am because we are. It just means that we're interconnected. And if I am the work, you are the work, you are the work, we're part of the solution, we're working together collectively. It's like when I wake up, I'm, I'm going to be on that path of trying to uplift my ancestors and be worthy of standing on their shoulders.